the one unleashed. Who could it be? It is Veldra. After all this time, Veldra's seal has been released because I think Raphael pretty much just like expedited the whole process, right? And Rimuru's like body copy that he himself found a little hot because he's like, oh, damn. Yo, who's who is that? It's Shizu, by the way. You copied off Shizu. Veldra has basically taken over Rimuru's body and now we're back. Now, what does this mean for every other nation around us that realizes that the Storm Dragon Veldora is back in a human form? Well, not human form, but you know, an actual body. Let's find out in today's reaction. Sundere <laughs> Weeb! What an intro, man. <laughs> oh, six pack. <laughs> Old dude. It, it, how do you know that line? This is a reference to some kind of like manga that he's been reading, right? <laughs> Bro, that's a lot of beans. Oh. He's a master level shogi player now? Holy shit. He's a dragon level. He made his own tier. Okay. What? Give him a hug. There's an important distinction here, right? Of how Veldra acknowledges Rimuru. As equals? I forget the exact terminology. BFF. Wait! Are we not? Wait, wait, wait. BFF here is different from Mabudachi. Mabudachi is what we're with Milan, and that's best friends. BFF is best friends forever. So this is like beyond Mabudachi then, huh? <laughs> gift? <laughs> gift? Did he get a gift too? Inquirer. Okay, he got a unique skill Inquirer. <laughs> Faust? What the fuck is Faust? <laughs> Reach the truth born from an insatiable curiosity? What the fuck does that mean? Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> Has given you the ultimate skill. We have it. The ultimate skill, Veldora. Okay, that's another ultimate fucking skill then. What does it do? Udio! Veldora! Udio! We have four ultimate skills now. Okay, we got four of them. Uriel is another angel name? Huh. Raphael. Uriel. But like, why angel names? Shouldn't we get names off of fucking demons, some evil shit? We're like a monster. We hate, you know, the church, right? Fuck the church. I mean, we do have Bilzebub. Bilzebub is a cool name, right? So I thought like we'd get like Bilzebub, fucking Lucifer, you know, fucking Mephisto or some shit. But like, getting some angel names, huh? <laughs> I mean, we kind of are invincible together now. Could anything compete with us? Okay, the visitors. Here we go. <laughs> Centuries. <laughs> oh, he's releasing <laughs> all the magic, right? The aura. <laughs> condensing it, right? Are we condensing it? But you had to release it all first to condense it. So during this moment, did every fucking neighbor kingdom, did they all just like red alert, red alert, fucking red alert, emergency, emergency, Storm Dragon Veldora is out. Did they recognize that? They should have, right? Isn't this fucking insane that he just did this? Isn't, shouldn't the entire world be like, holy shit? <laughs> Sacred text, manga. Here we go. Veldora entrance. Yeah, he's right over there, bro. <laughs> he's so excited to get an entrance. Hello. What's up? Everyone just in shock? Diablo's the only one smiling. Hello? Oh, you're pretty awkward, bro. What's up? My liege! Because this is like Tempest Forest. 
Jura Tempest Forest, right? The dragon has like protection over it. Yeah, it's his forest to Jura. Taken in my sisters and me when we were separated from the queen. Oh, some lore? Some trainee dryad lore with Veldor? He helped them out. <laughs> Everyone's starting to realize. Everyone's starting to realize. Very important distinction here, right? Because Veldora is not a subordinate. He's like an equal, right? Yeah. Bosom buddy. Anyways, my other half. This is a very important thing, right? My other half. Very important. What does that mean? My sword friend. Is that some fucking manga reference here he's saying? But we're basically like swarm brothers. He's my other half. But sword friend. There's a goblin, bro. Did you see that? They threw a goblin baby up. You see this? Someone just yeeted their fucking goblin baby up there. <laughs> Yeah. One should expect no less from my master. Makes sense, because Rango has witnessed the heroic tales of Rimuru for two seasons. Then again, he was watching true. He was watching through that orb. Right, because they never actually knew what happened, right? When we first visited the goblin, they felt like the menacing aura, right? From Veldora leaking out, right? But they never really knew that we had Veldora within. And now Rigrid's like, yeah, he, yeah, we were had, oh, he always had it inside him. 100 years? But Raphael! <laughs> what was that? Was he coughing? All right, ceremony time. Cheers. Come by. Come by. Yeah, party time. Woo! Let's go, Ranga. It's that girl again. You see her? She's here again. Goblina. Goblina. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gopto, Gopsa. Oh, Gelda and Hakuro sharing drinks. Okay. She owns cooking tastes like shit, or did the new gift change it? The color is a uh, the, the color is a uh, menacing, but oh, we gotta eat it for her, man. <laughs> What the fuck happened there? Is that a bird there? Is that a fucking bird feet? Like, how do you create purple sludge like that? That's like the most important, like the impressive thing. Like, how did you possibly make purple sludge with the ingredients you were given? <laughs> Y'all got poison resistance up, right? Yo, we're gonna need that unique skill survivor to survive this. <laughs> See, it's moving. See? It has eyes! These things are fucking like tell- it's, it's, If it could speak, it would say like, Please, kill me. <laughs> nope. What does it mean? You think this looks delicious? Cause she just fucking throws the ingredients into the fucking pot and just boils the water. But again, how did it become purple? Yeah, when you try to peel onions. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, why are you cutting with that? Oh, cool. The sword actually has a name. Hercules' Edge. But like, bro, where's the fucking cooking cooking knife? Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. Yeah. Where, where, where are you going? Where are you going with this, Benny? Infidelity? It's like cheating if you use different blades? <laughs> Just a little bit of cheating is fine. 
<laughs> okay. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's good. I've never seen Benny this afraid of my life. <laughs> Did the onion just fart? <laughs> but it actually tastes good though, right? It actually does taste good, even though it looks like shit, right? <laughs> yeah. That's the power of a gift! <laughs> power of a true demon lord's gift saved this cooking. <laughs> Master Chef? <laughs> Just called Master Chef? Okay. I feel like a lot of fucking... I feel like a, a big portion of cooking and like food is like... Texture, yeah, texture, flavor for sure, but it's like present like the way that you present the food, right? The way it looks. Like it just looks so fucking bad. You look at this food and immediately in your brain you make the connection that it's gonna taste like ass. <laughs> now we won't have to die. <laughs> we might eat another harvest festival. <laughs> No seconds. No, I'm good. Save some for the rest of them. Agreed. Damn, they party so hard. They just... They're all drunk as fuck, passed out. Oh. Second secretary. Competing with Shion? He is very refined though, huh? <laughs> People don't know what Diablo is though, right? Like, do they understand that he's a primordial demon? They probably don't hear. <laughs> Charge of development? <laughs> okay, Gabi to promote it. Gabi to promote it. <laughs> Yes, we know that. Oh, you just like surprised that everyone accepts him as a demon lord already, huh? They're excited you're a demon lord now, especially Ranga. Especially Ranga. Okay. To the whole world? Clayman. Steal the Demon Lord's throne? I thought Veldora would be able to keep the uh, Holy Church in check. リグルド。ほ。西側諸国との交渉を任せる。全戦力を持ってクレイマンを叩き潰すため、ジップ了解です。リブル様。シオン。はい。捕虜の尋問を任せる。Interrogate. <laughs> nah, take it far. Torture them. <laughs> Come on. Help. Help as in don't let Shion kill them. Yes, you're gonna become fucking king, bro. Damn, Sophia just like a couple episodes ago, she's like, what is this shitty little slime? Fuck you, Phobio, still. Burumun, this is the Guildmaster Fuse. Oh! Because the people outside were partying. So, like, he just arrived here? And, like, he see all the drunk, passed out people on the streets. And he's saying, Oh no! What happened, my lord? <laughs> The family of nation attacked. No, they they they're, they're just party too hard. Bro, bro, you're you're a little late. You're, you're like a couple episodes late. Okay, it's it, it's the thought that counts. I think it's the thought that counts. Yeah, it's actually over. Falmuth is over. <laughs> the arc is over. 
the people. 20,000 people. <laughs> 20,000 people. Yay! <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're here for vacation, bro. Just jump in the hot spring. I, I think it's 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 the thought that counts. Hmm? More visitors. Oh, the Pegasus Knights. Dorgo. King Gazelle. Gazelle Dorgo. I don't know. The 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 Pegasus like it's kind of cool, right? It's they're like the wing knights, right? Pegasus is cool, but it's like something about the image of like rugged dwarf warriors, like riding, like fancy Pegasus, just feels like there's such a contradiction here. You know what I mean? It's like such like a burly man like him riding a Pegasus. Also, I still don't know why he's as tall as a human is. He's an actual human. Some people say he's the tallest dwarf ever. I don't fucking know. He is a dwarf, so he's truly just the tallest dwarf ever? Like, look how tall he is. Some people like said that he's not a dwarf and that he's like a human and like people of the Dorgon kingdom, you know, many different races exist. The dwarves do exist, but humans, elves, and therefore he somehow rose to power. I don't fucking know. Also, Pegasus Giat, Pegasus Giat, but I think he is a dwarf. What's up? What? Oh, I forgot about these guys. They're magician skill? <laughs> that was a hoof there, huh? Raphael said hoof. Oh, he's just calling Gazal out. Elves. Right, because elves and dwarves, like, they fucking hate each other in, like, you know, fantasy lore, right? The elves are hiding in their ivory tower while the dwarves are hiding in their the fucking underground. Homunculus. So, bro is, like, working from home as well? Yeah, Potimas, man. It's like a clone. Sorcerer's Dynasty of Thalion. Thalion. L. Hey, wait, 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 what that's. Thalion, Sarion, Sarion. The, 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 the daughter, the, his. The, it's idiot trio? Remember? The, the, the elf princess? Uh, where did she run away from? Kingdom of Sari. Sarion? Sar. Thario? Dad? Dad? Oh, 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 whoa, 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 what the fuck did you get hit by? There she is. So, dude, we saved her life. You want to fight? What was that? Okay. Wow. Bro's ready to start war immediately? Holy shit, yo. Soloed by daughter. <laughs> Dude, she smacked him so hard. <laughs> oh, he's a complete daughter con, huh? Like, oh, my little daughter. <laughs> Dad, you're embarrassing me. He's very overprotective. Look, look, being protective of your daughter is good, but then to say adorable and blush like this in a lewd way is like, hmm. <laughs> Archduke of the Sorcerer's <laughs> Dynasty. Okay. <laughs> His voice just changed the pitch so much deeper. Era lewd. Era, era looting his daughter. You're not even here though, it's a homunculus. Oh, 
<laughs> just shows up uninvited. <laughs> this guy just self inserts himself so hard. We never fucking asked for you. The next three episodes are just gonna be a meeting. And that's it for me. Today's episode was basically reintroducing Veldera, right? He's an actual person. He's got a lot of ultimate skills. Rimuru got more ultimate skills too. Names of angels and some demons. And yes, the most important thing is that Rimuru and Veldera, they are almost like equals. My other half, my sword friend, AKA my sworn friend, different from a servant. Even though we did name Veldera, it's not the same, right? And the other interesting thing is, Veldera named Rimuru too, remember? In season one, episode one, there's a, I, I say this a lot. I think that episode one of Isekai shows are just a huge lore dump that happens really fast so that the average audience they just like see all the important shit, but it just goes through their head. So when I was rewatching this, I did notice that Veldra named Rimuru, right? And then I asked the question, why the name Rimuru? Where did it even come from? And then we just kind of never talk about it, right? So it's just like, huh, I don't really know, right? I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what the meaning of Rimuru really means, but we basically kind of like, quote unquote, named each other, even though it might not be the same as, let's say, naming a monster and the monster, you know, evolving like that, right? I'm sure this is gonna be like, actually like end game content later on. Who, who really knows what that really means? And then that's pretty much it. Just like introducing, you know, the gifts, um, the different visitors. And yes, these next couple episodes are going to be kind of uh, crazy. As in like, we're going to skip over it because like if I were to make reactions off the next three episodes, like we're going downhill. So I'm going to gloss over it on Twitch, right? We're going to skim over the episode. We're going to study the episodes and see which sections were important. And then we're going to pick up back on the YouTube side with episode 17 or some shit. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.